Aesthetic goals are reviewed and markings are made. Diagnostic ultrasound is used to locate facial vasculature prior to injection. Using a cannula, we begin by volumizing the midface or cheeks using Juvederm Voluma by Allergan. This injection is placed deep below the soft tissues close to the bony structures of the face. A retrograde injection technique is shown, with the filler being placed as the cannula is withdrawn. Volume addition in this area restores a youthful appearance to the face, while also lifting the cheeks, diminishing the nasolabial folds, and lower facial sagging. The contralateral left side of the midface is injected next to match the appearance as we continue a sequential volume restoration. Again, voluma is placed deep, close to the bone. As filler is injected, Dr. Rachel continually assesses in real time contour changes. This guides the injection process. Care is taken to ensure facial symmetry. After the deeper corrections are completed, a new smaller cannula is used to inject a different filler more superficially in the midface, closer to the surface of the skin. Filler can be placed at different depths to achieve the desired results. In this case, we're using Juvederm Velour, which is designed to be softer and to provide a natural appearance when placed subcutaneously. Both sides are again injected sequentially. Finer folds and contours are corrected in this step. Attention is then turned to the hollows under and around the eyes, which we call the infraorbital hollows or tear troughs. Once again, we have chosen Velour for this area. A softer filler that conforms well to this delicate anatomy is paramount to natural results. Special care is taken to inject slowly at precisely the correct depth and from multiple angles to ensure a smooth appearance. Lighting is optimized and head position is adjusted to see what correction is needed from multiple angles and with different facial expressions. Periorbital filler can restore a rested youthful appearance and camouflage bags under the eyes to some extent. Gentle pressure is used to soften and settle the filler after placement. We now move lower into the face and aim to sculpt and add definition to the jawline. Juvederm Volux is a filler specially formulated to enhance and shape the structure of the lower face. Dr. Rachel begins by placing a deposit of filler directly at the angle of the jawline up against the bone to better define the angle and to draw the skin and soft tissues tighter against the face. The filler is injected along the length of the jawline to finish the enhancement. This will smooth the jawline and reduce the appearance of jowling. Finally, attention is turned to the lips. Topical numbing cream was applied prior to the injection. This patient requested minimal volume augmentation and would like the shape enhanced as well as smoothing some of the fine lines around the lips. We have selected Juvederm Ultra and for this injection, there are multiple different fillers that can be chosen depending upon the desired results. Dr. Rachel uses a small 30 gauge needle for precise placement of the filler. The pre-injection ultrasound scan helps her to avoid the superior labial artery during the injection process to minimize potential complication. The vermilion border at the upper edge of the lip is defined first, followed by the filtral columns of the upper lip. Great care is taken in approaching each patient's lips artistically and individually since everyone's lip shape, size, and features are different. Next, the lower lips are injected creating youthful, attractive lips without appearing fake or overdone has been achieved. As can be seen in the before and after photos, our patient has achieved a more youthful appearance through the application of dermal fillers. Her eyes appear more rested, the jawline is better defined, and her lips have enhanced shape while still appearing totally natural.